What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745 and today I have a very special video for all of you. It's going to be the first, hopefully of many, PvE challenges. This is actually something I thought about doing quite a long time ago and that's actually when I received this first viewer challenge. So my apology goes out to James. I'm sorry that I took so long to get around to this one and to begin this playlist, but that ends today. This particular challenge begins in Chapter 12, Mission 2, in Challenge Mode. So what exactly is the challenge? Well, James Q issued this some time ago, and he asked me to do the following. Create a video where I'll be in this mission, on Challenge Mode, and with the following conditions. My agent must be wearing a trench coat, with gear that can only be farmed from chapters. Then I can use Captain America, I guess with the ults, WW2, or Avengers but I assume no Captain Rogers. Now as you can see there were some details in there, but there's still quite a bit left out. So we'll talk more about future challenges as we get underway. But for now, I'm going to tell you my setup. First, I'm using Captain America in his default costume. Even though I was allowed to use some of his alts, I figured that most people may not have them. But if you're running this mission, you obviously have the default cap. Now there is a small advantage to this, I am using both of his E-ISO. So we have the leading and powered ISO 8, which causes Cap to attempt to go first in combat. And then there's the fervent and powered ISO 8, which gives him a chance to counter range attacks with shield throw. You can find the leading in Chapter 6, Mission 1, and the fervent in Chapter 2, Mission 3. Those of course are both in Season 2. So as far as ISO 8, there were no restrictions mentioned, and that's where I want to let you know that you can be as specific as you want to when issuing these challenges. However, if you don't include all the details, I'm not going to make it easy on myself. I guess because I'm a glutton for punishment. No. Well, maybe. But it's so I can make it more entertaining for everyone. In this case, even though I'm using different ISO, I'm following all the listed rules. I'm using just a generalist trench on my agent. And then the following equipment setup. We have the Staff of Asclepios from Season 2, Chapter 4, Mission 4. Then the Chaos Shot SMG from Season 2, Chapter 2, Mission 6. Followed by the Dark Sigil from Season 1, Chapter 9, Mission 6. And lastly, the Custom Magnetic Fill Generator from Season 1, Chapter 4, Mission 4. Now even though I went with those four, there were a ton to choose from. This is by no means the only way that it can be done. But now I do want to get back to the challenge specifics and what I'm going to do to make it harder. Now there was nothing mentioned about who I could use for my second hero, but I decided to bring in default Iron Man, which everyone has. So I could have brought in any other hero to make this extremely easy, but I didn't. Not that Iron Man's a slouch, but he is going to run out of stamina very easily. Mainly because my next self-imposed restriction is, I'm not going to use any items. So that's right, default cap, default Iron Man, no items, and we're going to get this done without losing any characters. We're already on the second wave, but the final wave is going to take forever, especially with two tacticians teeing off on a blaster Iron Man. Will we succeed? Who knows? But while you're watching, go ahead and think up some challenges. Make them as difficult and specific as you can, but hopefully not impossible. I will let you know that I have every character and every costume in the game, so whatever your imagination dreams up, go ahead and post it. Now my strategy for this one is pretty simple. I'm going to use the magnetic fill generator whenever I can because it provides a shield and when it's broken it gives us an extra turn. Then the staff is there for healing and that's very much needed if you're not using any items. I almost chose the psychic amplifier because debuff removal would be great as well and it also restores stamina which I knew Iron Man would have a problem with. See item usage would have made this one way too easy. I simply would give him extra turns with Tactical Strike or a Chrono Boost, then Unibeam down all the enemies while using Christmas Cookies to restore stamina. Or I could have brought in someone like Iron Patriot and just mowed down all the enemies with a 21 gun salute. And then just to mention, one of my other go-to heroes, Heroic Age Iron Fist could go ahead and heal our team, restore our stamina, give us rising up buffs, and prevent debuffs. That's going to make any PvE challenge so much simpler. But maybe I shouldn't give away all my secrets because then you guys could make the perfect challenge to defeat me. One thing I will say is using Cap's leading E-ISO does help him go first. 
and that way he can use shield guard so if you don't have the world war ii cap which starts with shield guard that is another great option as far as this fight i have to say these arrow of hate stuns are really lame but with the magnetic fill generator off of cooldown we're going to use that once again then Cap is going to be stunned, and Iron Man's going to be out of stamina like usual. So I will tell you one thing about this challenge is it's definitely testing my patience. You don't know how bad I wanted to use a Christmas cookie. I think I have over 200 saved up. I could even use a candy bucket. And by the way, I did think about making a top 5 items list, but I think there's a lot of other top 5s I need to make before that one. And speaking of that, just to let you know, I am going to work on a free weapons list, but I'm going to break it into two parts. A best free weapons in Season 1, and then also another video covering Season 2. There really is a lot of great farmable free weapons out there, and I'm definitely going to cover them. Now we're about to go into the third and final wave, and Baron Zemo is definitely going to be a pain. We're going to begin with a single target attack on Hammer, and that will give our tactician an extra turn. So with that, we'll use Shield Guard. Captain America protecting is actually quite important here because we don't want to give those tacticians any more turns than they already have. Iron Man of course has to recharge, and part of it's my own fault because I don't socket ISO 8 for PvE. So in other words, I have no additional stamina on just about every character. And even worse, sometimes my health is often low. Hopefully that doesn't cost me here because if I lose any heroes I have to restart the challenge. Cap's health was scaring me, but we have our heal off of cooldown, so it's time for the Staff of Asclepios. Then after that, he gets two attacks on Hammer. But Baron Zemo is intervening a little bit, and that is a concern. Next up, Tactical Force uses an AoE Rocket Barrage, and this causes Captain America to use a counterattack Shield Throw. If you know me, you know I love counters, so I'll take free damage all day. Also, with Iron Man, I'm going to knock out Hammer, hopefully before his next turn. So we do land that Unibeam, and that's one out of three down. Two more villains, and we got this challenge. Unfortunately, Baron Zemo is going after our blaster, so he gets an extra turn. The good news is, with my agent, we have the custom magnetic fill generator off of cooldown, and that's going to give us a shield and a possibility at extra turns ourselves. Then there's even more good news, because Cap once again can use his shield guard. Fake Iron Man apparently didn't learn his lesson because he uses a ranged attack on Cap, and for that he takes a shield bash and causes a shield throw. Next, with Cap, we wanted to target Tactical Force, but Baron Zemo takes the hit. Luckily, we dodge his deadly lunge. Then, unfortunately, he goes right after our blaster and gains himself an additional turn. So he's spreading bleeds around, and that is a concern for us. So much so that on my agent's turn, we either can recharge or use the staff. And we decide to go with the staff. I feel like at this point, we really need to knock out one of these two enemies. So once again, we do want to take down Tactical Force, and we hit Baron Zemo. By the way, have I mentioned how much I hate the Baron's Mark? It's a debuff that says attacking will cause Baron Zemo to counter with a deadly counterattack. It can be removed with recharge, but I still hate it. Also, it prevents counters and protects. I also hate that something crazy was going on and my Unibeam hit Tactical Force, allowing Baron Zemo to recover health for his entire team. I have to admit, some of this stuff had me worried. I mean, just look at Cap's health, he's down to 3,000 and some change. Then on top of that, he has to recharge on his turn. Next up though, Tactical Force goes after Iron Man. He misses the first, but he gets a second attack as well. So with Iron Man's turn, let's go ahead and use his deflector shield, and then we have to use a repulsor ray. Luckily, we do get a collateral damage proc, and that helps take down Baron Zemo. I mean, he was going down anyways, but we'll take it. Then with my agent, we can finish off the fight with an exploitation rounds. The Chaos Shot SMG is a very nice weapon, but I had to use them for support most of this fight. Still, we managed to take down the challenge, and we're going to get a score of over... 109,000. Perfection. I couldn't say it any better myself. So there it is, the very first challenge completed. And with that, I ask you all to challenge me in PvE. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, good luck, and take care.